the biblical truth of our hymn, number 60, nothing but the blood. Already going to say, a must. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. It's not membership, not baptism, not doing yourself. For by grace are you saved through faith and not of ourselves. It's a gift of God. So, and blood has been and is been removed out of the churches and in those. As repentance is also being removed. And there are modern Bibles on the market that take the blood out. And according to Acts 20.28, 20, the blood of Jesus Christ is the blood of God. And I'm sorry that Jehovah Witnesses don't get that. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. So I'm saved and I sin after I, I saved. I sin after I'm saved. Sorry to say, but I'm still a sinner. Salvation has not changed my wicked heart, my thoughts of my heart. And if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And there's only the blood. There's no other plea to the Father on what we can do that has already been done through Jesus Christ. And you realize Jesus sweating great drops of blood in the Garden of Gethsemane. And from the Sanhedrin, the kangaroo court that he stood before, being punched. The blood, the blood of God, the blood of Jesus began to flow in that garden. And it flowed from the Sanhedrin and their warriors or soldiers, guard. And the blood of God flowed through the Roman soldiers. And before Pilate. And Judas went to a priest, which is wrong, and said, I have betrayed the innocent blood. Pilate washed his hands and said, I am clean of the blood of this just man. See to it. And the children of Israel cried out, His blood be upon us and our children. If you do not have a bloody salvation of the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world, you are not saved. You will not go to heaven, but you will go to hell. Because you have put your faith and trust in anything but the blood of Jesus. And we'll look at the frame afterwards. For my pardon. Now, pardon is an interesting word. Because I've done many years in the prison ministry. And I had one night, I went to the ministry and I gave the lessons. And I said, who in this room is in jail tonight? And you're completely innocent. Every single hand went up in that room. Shocking. That's not what I was expecting. That's one of like the first few nights I was there. Everybody in that room, as far as I remember, were innocent and did not deserve to be in jail. Now, maybe a few of them, yeah, good possibility. There's, there's that likelihood. But a pardon cannot have been obtained through those men that night. If the governor of the state or the president of the United States had walked in that room after I gave that question and he held in his hand blank hardened papers to fill in the name, the president of the United States or the governor of the state would have to put those back in his briefcase, turn around and go home. Because in order to receive a pardon, you must be guilty. And on April 21st, 1987, on a Saturday afternoon at my grandma's house, 
in her living room with Joe Caswell with an open Bible. I came to God, and I'm not going to tell you, but I was a vile, wicked sinner. And I needed that pardon, and I came to God to say, yeah, I'm guilty. And there's a religion today, even amongst the Baptist churches, oh, you're fine doing well, and God just loves everybody. Have a cotton candy and a free balloon. And no repentance. That's not a pardon. A pardon is a person must come to God and say, God, I am guilty of my sins. I have sinned against you. And no other. And there is nothing else that can be done but by the blood of Jesus Christ and only by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, a pardon has to bring forth guilt. And you cannot receive a pardon if you're not guilty. And you've got to come to God by the blood. And a wonderful hymn like this is probably not sung in your modern churches today. Because they don't believe the blood can wash. They don't believe in repentance. For my part in this I see nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can cancel me being guilty? The blood of Jesus Christ. For my cleansing, this my plea, nothing but the blood of Jesus. I'm cleansed and washed by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am made whole, I am made righteous by the blood of Jesus Christ. He became sin for us who knew no sin, that the righteousness of God through him Not any righteousness I have or had. It's the righteousness of Jesus Christ and that blood atonement that I am washed. Nothing can for sin atone. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Imagine a, a, a church that believes in baptism would even try to sing this hymn. When they believe water. Imagine a church by works singing nothing but the blood when they believe work can save your soul. This is a limited hymn sung in modern churches today because they don't believe in the blood. They don't want a bloody religion. So this would be one of the things that, do, how do I know that this church is right for my family? What do you feel about the hymn, nothing but the blood? And any negative response, I walk out. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Not of good that I have done. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. There is none that doeth good but Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the light. The only access to the Father. And there are people, oh, I'll let my light shine. Oh, so you can say. You let your light shine. How about let the blood wash and cleanse? This is all my hope and peace. Jesus, Jesus Christ is the, is the blessed hope. The fruit of the Spirit is peace. It all comes through God, through Jesus Christ. And you have a Jesus who's not God, well then, you don't have a holy righteousness atonement for your sins. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness, and I've already quoted, He was made sin for us who knew no sin, that the righteousness of God in Him. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. 
all precious flow from his hands, from his feet, from his side, from his skull, from his back, from his stomach. Remember, he was whipped and beaten. He was a bloody mess. The Bible describes his back as a, a farmer that plowed the field. They put a shroud over his head and went punching him. They whipped him after they put the crown of thorns on his head with the reed. That makes me white as snow. Isaiah 113. Come now, let us uh, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. You know, snow, when it falls and has not been hindered by man, it's the purest, cleanest form. As the morning dew, it is white and bright. And when the sun sparkles upon newly fallen snow, it, it can almost blind you. Only man and animals would, would uh, spot and make snow unclean. No other fount, fountain, no other way, no other means, nothing other but the blood of Jesus. I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And if it's not the blood, it's not salvation. And if it's not Jesus, it's definitely no salvation. There's no repentance, there's no salvation. It's through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. 